Hello everyone, it's a me, Richard Evans from New Tech here with another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. Today I want to talk to you about audio state presets. Now within every production there is usually a ton of audio work being done behind the scenes ranging from continually monitoring and adjusting input signals to managing audio routings, effects, etc. and it can be a bit overwhelming when having to manage them all by hand. But with audio state presets, you can save all of the settings that you are using for a certain setup and can trigger them simply by clicking on a button. A very simple but powerful feature of the TriCaster, so let's take a look. All right, so here we are in the TriCaster TC1 interface, and let's just take a look at some of the inputs that we have going on here. So input number one is me, and then inputs two, three, and four are gonna be some of our color commentators for our uh, broadcast today. Uh, and then also uh, inputs five, six, seven, and eight are gonna be just the shots from the basketball game. So let's say for this particular uh, show, what we wanna have is uh, a, a couple different audio setup feeds to where we're only gonna have uh, audio from say our anchors whenever we're going to the studio so that they can give some color commentary about what's going on like in, during like halftime, for example. Uh, and then also we wanna have the audio coming in from the uh, game itself and the commentator on top of that, which I will be the color commentator for this, all right? So we're gonna have uh, just a, a couple different setups here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna configure my first audio preset to be just the in-studio uh, commentators, okay? So they're on inputs two, three, and four. So let's go ahead and what I want to do here is I'm gonna mute everybody but two, three, and four, okay? So let's go ahead and I will mute my own. And then I will also mute inputs five, six, seven, and eight. So now we only have the levels coming through here. So I've muted the audio so you're not being able to hear everything, but we can visually see what's going on. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and now save that as one of our audio state presets. And to do that, we'll take our mouse and go over to the side of the audio mixer here, and that will pop up this little feed, and we'll take a snapshot of that for number one. Okay, so now let's go through and I'm going to reverse that. Uh, I'm gonna say, let's uh, mute two, three, and four, and then let's unmute myself, and then unmute five, six, seven, and eight. All right, now I'm gonna go through and make another audio preset and go back over here to the side of the screen and hey, come back, come back. And select number two here, boop. So now I have audio state preset number two. Uh, now let's also do something a little bit different for the third one. What I wanna do now is I'm going to have uh, all of these feeds coming through my inputs, one, uh, one five, six, seven, and eight, uh, those are gonna be going to everything except for my aux two and three, just to kind of show you that you can also manipulate the auxiliaries uh, routings as well. So let's go into each one of those. And so I'll go into my input number one, and let's go ahead and clear out two, three here. So my voice is now out of auxiliary two and three, and then we'll do the same thing for these inputs. All right, input seven, eight, do the same thing, and I'm just clearing out two and three. I'm going to eight, and there we go. So now you'll see I have audio only coming through on my auxiliary one, my headphones and my master. And let's save that as another preset. So we'll go over here again and let's save that into number three. And now check this out. Let's say I wanna go back to only my commentators that are in the studio. Instead of going through and unmuting everybody and rerouting everything, all I have to do is come over here and click on my preset number one. And when I do that, boom, you'll see now my audio state has changed and I only have those three commentators being able to be heard across all of my different mixes here. Uh, okay, and let's go ahead and do that for two. And that brings that back up to where I have all of my, my particular input. Inputs five, six, seven, and eight are coming through on all of my audio channels here, uh, including uh, aux two and three. And let's say we want to manipulate that and take them out of these auxes two and three. I can go back to three that I set up here and boom. 
Now I have that set up as well. So you can control pretty much everything within these audio state presets. So you can also control, let's say, the processing, so you can turn your equalizers on and off, or even uh, customize the different settings of them, etc. And then save them to those audio presets, and simply click on the one that you want to use, and you're good to go. So pretty cool, right? Audio State Presets makes the audio portion of your productions much easier, and you can breathe a bit easier knowing that it's just a click away. Now I hope that this tutorial video helps expand your new technology and if you want some more new tech brain candy, head over to the brain candy shop that is our YouTube page which is youtube.com slash newtechinc. For more short tutorial videos like this one along with long form get started trainings and more. It's a remarkable learning resource which honestly is where I got started when I first got to New Tech ages ago, so check it out. Now for more information on New Tech products, talk to your local reseller or you can visit our website at newtech.com. Also check out our continuing coverage over on newtech.tv where we will be showing off new product capabilities, interviews with New Tech users, developers, and more. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time on the next edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.